talking about her imaginary characters. That's the very tragic part of Lucy Mond, is that she created a character that was very liberated, and yet she was very much a victim of the structure of her time. She keeps her midst, and they didn't know what to, uh, to do with her, so she was lonely and on her own a lot. And she was uh, being raised in a very strict Victorian atmosphere where there was very little understanding or respect for children. It must have been extremely hard, extremely hard and, and cold. Perhaps it was the... Well, I had a fabulous time playing that role because I think she is an amazing character and I don't perceive her as a, as a saccharine character, as a sweet little girl. And I think that's what was amazing about her and that was what was amazing about her in her time was that she was actually a human being and that Lucy Maud Montgomery allowed a child to have a voice that was of equal importance to the grown-ups around her. So consequently, she has a very bad temper. Miss yeah. Cuthbert is not here. What do you mean, she's not here? She's gone to East Grafton. And this isn't a novel, it's Virgil's Aeneid, if you want to know. And I'd rather have red hair than none at all, except a little fringe around my ears. She can't stop talking. She's a compulsive talker. Uh, and she's a compulsive talker because she's desperately lonely. And she's had no validation in her life. And she's created a complete world around her to support her. That's the house. Why, it has gables. What do you call it? Oh, just the house. What would you think if I gave it a new name? Something that would sound more euphonious. Now let me see. Gables, and they're green. Green Gables. The and uh, she said, I hope no one writes my biography. She was Anne who didn't get the happy ending, basically. She created a character who got everything she needed and really didn't get in her own life. And she was a woman in, in a time when women also didn't have the right to be seen and heard. I mean, let alone a child. I mean, she's got a double whammy against her. She's a woman, and she's not a beautiful woman. She's a bloody smart woman, an intelligence with, with a desire, I and mean, that's who she was in a time. I think she was quite ahead of her time that way, and, and so that fight must have been huge for recognition. Unfortunately, we have to be content with